Hey everybody. Um, I wanted to uh, take a quick minute and go over a few things that Law went over with me with my 16X uh, to help me have better control over my wheel and to be able to start jumping properly. Um, a lot of people have been asking. Uh, so the first thing that he did uh, on my King Song 16X is he cut into three pieces the original uh, power pads I had on here, which are just a, a stock pair of the Shermans. Um, basically, that thickness in the middle was making my legs bow out a little bit, which was probably uh, contributing to my knee pain. So uh, the first thing he did was he like removed this middle section to make the wheel more thin in the thickest part. And uh, then he also buffed out uh, the bottom of the wheel where my foot sits because my foot was kind of sitting too close into the wheel. And then the thickest part of the wheel, there was even an extra added layer of thickness for my power pads. So what he was trying to do is kind of make everything one um, plane. So there's not like these, uh, a really thick portion of the wheel and then a very thin portion of the wheel. This way you just have more control over it. I, I have already have so much more control over this wheel. Um, I've also been uh, trying to carve more on my heels, which is definitely um, putting a different center point on the wheel for me. I'm sitting way further back and I'm also learning how to carve better. Uh, you're supposed to open up your leg that you're, when you're turning into a corner and lean your leg into the side of the wheel. So you're almost like a motorcycle race car person. Um, and it makes a huge difference. You don't have to be doing just little carves. You could actually do huge, like open swooping carves into turns. So I got into a little bit of that. Uh, Law gave me some pointers on riding like that. And then also pointers on jumping, which was just to um, really, so wear the shoes that you're gonna wear, stick them on the pedal here. And there's a little wedge here. Here, I'll try to like bring a little closer. Whoops. There's a little wedge right here where my foot really locks into this wheel and it almost makes it feel like my toe, my front toe is locked in. Sort of like a flight fin for the one wheel people. Um, the, the jump pads are basically flight fins when they're done properly. I had bought these uh, jump pads just from a stock place, um, put them on my King Song 16X and I felt some more control but after having Law customize it properly, it definitely has that flight fin feel where you kind of clip into the wheel and you have uh, that much more control because you can kind of lock yourself in and torque it around. So um, I'm really excited to get some practice in and to implement uh, some of the lessons that Law taught me here in Vegas. I'm really grateful for his time. He's a busy guy. I know he had the, uh, some thing in New York City he was going to uh, for the new V12 wheel. Uh, he is a big name in the game and I'm happy that I was able to meet him and get some good tips and advice. Uh, but again, I just wanted to go over all of the things that I learned from law because it was uh, really nice for me to have this information and I wanted to try to pass it along to anybody else who might be thinking about customizing their uh, pads on their wheel and or that are dealing with knee pain because I was going to pick up the S18 out here but I'm just hesitant and not sure that's exactly the wheel I want especially if my knee issues were being caused by a poor power pad placement so you need to be careful when throwing pads on your wheel it's not just a wham bam thank you ma'am thing you really need to uh, take the time and customize it properly uh, and I'm sure that people can reach out to law and ask him for some one-on-one -on -one help uh, you know I did pay him for his time so uh, but I wonder if he does like little YouTube 
set up, you know, like little Skype calls to help you set up your wheel, that would be a good idea. But um, again, I just wanted everybody to uh, hear uh, the, the lessons and the tips I learned from law before I forget them and head off to my next destination. Um, thanks for listening. Subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff. Thanks, everyone. Bye.